Hi, I'm Becky and I'm the County Cub Scout leader. Now it's become a bit of a tradition for our virtual events that we make pizza, so of course for the spring thing we had to follow that tradition. I'm going to show you different ways that you can make your pizza and give you some alternatives, but everything you need should be found in the guide, so if you're not sure, go look in there first. Okay, so all good pizza needs good sauce, a good base and then the best toppings that you want. We're going to start with the sauce. Now you can choose one that's already made in a jar or use something like tomato puree but I'm going to show you today how you can make your own one at home that's really simple. You're going to need a can of chopped tomatoes, a clove of garlic, a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar and then whatever herbs that you want to use. Okay so I'm going to make my sauce using a blender but if you don't have one of those at home you can just make it in a pan and chop everything up nice and finely. The first step for any of our cooking things is to make sure you've got to wash your hands for at least 30 seconds and with soap. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is pour all of your ingredients into your blender or into your pot. So that's the tomatoes, the garlic, whatever herbs you want to use, and a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar. So now you're going to blend that until it's really nice and smooth. Once you've blended everything and your sauce is nice and smooth, or you've heated everything through on your hob, just put it to one side, ready to use later. Okay, so next up we're thinking about the base for our pizza. Now you can use basically anything you want, for example some muffins, or pizza bread, or tortilla wraps, anything that you like. But you could also have a go at making your own dough. Now I'm going to show you how to do a really quick and simple dough but in the guide we've also got a bit more of a complicated one particularly some of you older ones that you can have a go at so if you want all the recipe for that look inside the guide. To make the really simple dough you will need a pinch of salt, 220 grams of self-raising flour, a tablespoon of olive oil or any of the cooking oil you have and 90 millilitres of water. Okay, so the first step, as always, is to make sure you've washed your hands really well for about 30 seconds with soap. Okay, the next step is just to basically put all your ingredients together and mix them together. Now you can just do that in a bowl like I am, or you can do it in a food processor. So make sure you have your flour, add your water, a pinch of salt, and then a tablespoon of your oil. So you just mix it all together and this is going to make two bases for pizzas. Okay, so you want to mix your dough until it becomes what we call shaggy, so it looks a bit like this. And then you're going to tip it out onto a floured work surface and you're just going to use your hands and get stuck in and messy and just knead it all together. So you're going to knead it until it comes together in one ball. Now you're going to split it into two so that you have one for each pizza base. Okay, now we're ready to construct our pizzas. So, I'm going to make mine in the oven and if you're going to do that you need to preheat it now. So that's at 220 degrees or gas max 7. If not, you could also make it in a frying pan and that gives a really crispy base. If you want to learn more about that, look inside the guide. Okay, so we're now going to construct our pizzas. So for that you need to roll out your dough and then put it on a baking tray or use whatever your alternative base is going to be. Now we've done our bases we're going to add the sauce that we've made or you can add whatever other alternative sauce you want to add. Once you've added your sauce you can then choose what toppings you like and add them on top of your pizza. Okay, so now I've decorated my pizzas with all my favourite toppings. So I've made a little smiley face and had a go at making the scarf fleur de lis. But I'd love to see what you end up decorating your pizzas with. So make sure you take photos and put them on the Facebook page for us to see. Once you've decorated them, you need to put them in the oven or in the pan for about 10 to 15 minutes just until the cheese is all melted and the base is crispy. When they're done, get your adult again to help you get them out of the oven 
but be really careful because they will be hot and then you can enjoy them.